Welcome back. We are here on Etoro looking at the foreign exchange market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for March 31st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here on Etoro where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we're up nearly half a percent today. So this is running into... Uh, major resistant at this point because we are getting very overstretched we are way outside here of the Bollinger band you can see basically what happens usually when we get outside we could stay here for a few days but usually when you get this exposed outside of the top of the Bollinger band it tends to snap back towards the middle and even towards the bottom of the Bollinger band so we could see this a drop towards the 200 moving average we should offer support at this point or the very bottom or the middle here of the bullish band at roughly 92. so technical indicators they are very bullish at this point so this has major implications for other major currency pairs of course commodities precious metals and so on but as you can see for most of the currency pairs that we're going to look at there have been major movements mainly due to the US dollar appreciating against most of these uh, currency pairs. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So the Great British Pound US dollar is falling as expected as the US uh, dollar becomes uh, stronger. This will basically weigh into the to, the, um, to this uh, currency pair. So at this point, we have run into major resistant here at the 20 exponential or the 50 that are crossing right here. So we have a crossing at uh, with the 20 and the 50. And th that is a, a fairly bearish shine, to be very honest. So technical indicators otherwise are very negative at this point. MACD is bearish. The sarcastic is crossing the signal, signal line becoming bearish. CCI is bearish and the RSI is also bearish. So we are just above the, the bottom of the Bollinger Band here at uh, 1368. And that is also where we found a major support uh, only a few days ago. So if this breaks, then we could drop all the way down towards uh, 1350. So we are clearly, um, we have clearly broken this uptrend. We are at the moment trading underneath the 50 moving average. The 20 exponential is crossing the 50, and we haven't seen that crossing since basically all the way back, back here in November. So at this point, rallies up towards the 20 exponential, they will most likely be sold into. And uh, next target is actually in the long run, is going to be uh, 1350 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. If we don't see a massive reversal here, and it doesn't look like we are, we are seeing that at this point. So we are technically no longer trending um, upwards, we are actually trending downwards. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. So we have absolutely exploded to the upside. So we had this massive move here. So the 20 exponential, we can as it confirm compared to the, uh, if we look at the price action in the last few months, then the 200, uh, the 20 exponential has offered massive support. And we're going to see this move here when we tried it sideways, got very close to the middle of the bullish band and then just absolutely exploded to the upside the last five trading days. We are getting significantly, we are significantly overbought, we are significantly overstretched. So a pullback um, at this point, that should not be uh, very strange. It is, uh, we are trading at 110 and we haven't been trading at 110, we're basically all the way back here in 2020. Basically in June 2020, we were at this um, at this level. So pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, they are most likely be going to be bought into. A rally to, to buy it at this stage is very risky because we are so overstretched and overbought. But pullbacks towards the 20, 20 exponential, that should be, uh, that's probably where buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. Technical indicators otherwise are very bullish and uh, that is not surprising considering this massive move to the upside. So Euro, US dollar. So as you can see, we are absolutely falling apart here in the Euro, US dollar. So we're getting also very overstretched to the downside. We're outside of the bullish band here. We're approaching uh, oversold conditions in the RSI. Technical indicators are very negative at this point. And we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average at this some point, uh, probably tomorrow's session or on, 
on Thursday's session. So at this point, rallies toward, towards the 200 moving average or the 20 exponential, they will most likely be sold into at this point, as you can see right here, here, also here, and so on. And even better if you go all the way down to, up towards the 50, as we did only a few weeks ago, that will also most likely be sold into. We are, the trend here has completely changed. All the moving averages are basically turning around, crossing to 200, and we are most likely going to see uh, a drop, a significant drop in the euro, euro, euro US dollar, um, similar to what we are seeing in the Great British Pound in US dollar. So at this point, we are significantly overstretched to the downside, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that was most likely where uh, sellers will come back in and pressure this bet to even lower levels. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So also here in the Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have nearly completely changed direction. We are basically trading sideways at this current stage. So the bottom here is roughly 0.7570. So we are not very, we are fairly close to that, um, to that support level, which we have tested twice. We saw right here and also right here, and we're trading just above that. But if this continues in this fashion, we'll most likely test that and probably break it and head towards 0 0.75. Rallies towards the 20 exponential, they will, are most likely going to be sold into as we saw here. And, and basically, we have had a really struggle to basically get above the middle of the Bollinger Band for a really long time now. Last time we did that was basically in the beginning of March. And um, well, that was not a really serious attempt. We did rally above and then just completely crashed to the downside. So at this point, rallies towards, uh, give or take, 0 0.7687, that will most likely be sold into. And most likely the uh, next target will be 0 0.75. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So US dollar, Canadian dollar has is also in changing direction here. We're still in this downtrend. So we have been in this downtrend all the way back to March last year. Um, but we are testing the 50 moving average, which we have done several times in the past. And we have been rejected every single time. So we can see it right here, right here, and so on. So at this point, if we don't manage to break above the 50 moving average, we are most likely going to turn around here and head back towards the very bottom of 1231. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. So there is uh, quite a lot of room to the upside. We can basically rally all the way up to 1271 before we find major support here at the Bollinger Band. And there's a lot of room to the upside also in the RSI. So this could go past like we saw back here in the beginning of February, or we can see something similar to this, where we basically rally up towards the 50 moving average and then break down. So we have not had a massive pullback here in the, in the candlestick for today. So it, this is a fairly bullish candlestick when considering that. So we may go further than we are at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at eDraw. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.